This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, we are going to start a new chapter. The name of the chapter, as you can see here, it is waves. So, in this particular chapter, we are going to study about the different kinds of waves, the properties of waves and how important they are. So, here we are first going to study about the introduction and then transverse and longitudinal waves, displacement relation in a progressive wave, the speed of a traveling wave, the principle of superposition of waves, reflection of waves, beats, Doppler effect. So we are going to study about all these concepts in this particular chapter. So coming to the first part that is introduction part. In the previous chapters, we have already studied about the motion of objects oscillating in isolation. What happens in a system which is a collection of such objects, which means uh, the motion of objects which oscillate in oscillation, if the system is collection of such objects, what happens? A material medium provides such an example. So here, elastic forces bind the constituents to each other. Therefore, the motion of one, it affects the other. You just uh, consider a very simple example. That is, uh, you just drop a, a little pebble in water. That too, that too in uh, still water. in a pond of still water, then that water surface gets disturbed. That disturbance does not remain confined to one place, isn't it? So when you drop that water, the, the stone or a pebble in the water, it starts forming these circles in the water. That is nothing but disturbance. And that disturbance propagates outward along a circle, isn't it? We have seen this. And if you continue dropping pebbles in the pond and you see circles rapidly moving outward from the point where the water surface is disturbed. So, it gives a feeling as if water is moving outward from the point of disturbance, isn't it? We feel that this water is moving outward from where it is disturbed. In the same water pond, if you put some uh, cork pieces, So, if you put some cork pieces, then these pieces move up and down, but they do not move away from the center of disturbance. This shows that the water mass does not flow outward with the circle. Only the disturbance flows outwards, but not the mass of the water. It will remain in the center. Similarly, when we speak uh, the sound waves about sound waves the sound waves moves outward from us without any flow of air from one part of the medium to another isn't it the disturbances produced in air are much less obvious and only a ears or a microphone can detect them so these patterns which move without the actual physical transfer or flow of matter as a whole are called as waves. So there is no physical movement or there is no physical transfer, only the disturbance will flow. So these kind of patterns are called as waves. So in this particular chapter, we are going to study about these uh, different kinds of 
ways so in this way information energy in the form of signals propagate from one point to other but no material object makes the journey it's only the 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 disturbance only the waves will propagate no the material object and the waves uh, transport energy and pattern of disturbance that has information and those things will propagate from one point to another all our communications essentially depend on transmission of signals through waves even our communication isn't it it is depending on this waves because communication is possible through the transmission of waves speech means what production of sound waves so in communication first we'll produce the sound waves and these sound waves are converted into electric signals and these electric signals are transmitted through the yes sound waves and then these electric waves are transmitted in the communication medium and then these electric waves may generate electromagnetic waves isn't it that may be transmitted by an optical cable or uh, via a satellite and detection of the original signal will usually involve these steps in reverse order and uh, one more important thing is that not all the waves require medium for their propagation we know sound wave requires medium for its propagation that is the medium is air but not all the waves for example you can take light waves they travel through vacuum and this light which is emitted by stars which are uh, hundreds of light years away reaches us through interstellar space it reaches us through interstellar space so which is practically a vacuum the most familiar types of waves that we see in our day to day life are uh, many few are waves on a string we can say water waves isn't it sound waves seismic waves all these waves they require a medium for propagation these waves require a medium they cannot propagate through vacuum they involve oscillations of uh, the constituent particles and they depend on the elastic properties of the medium so all these depend on the elastic uh, properties of the medium see electromagnetic waves do not necessarily require a medium they can travel through vacuum for example uh, we have various electromagnetic waves light waves radio waves x rays all these are electromagnetic waves isn't it 
and in vacuum all electromagnetic waves have the same speed c the velocity of electromagnetic waves is uh, given by c that is equal to 2997924584 meter per second okay so this is the velocity of electromagnetic wave and uh, the third kind of wave is uh, matter wave which is associated with the matter usually these matter waves are associated uh, with uh, neutrons electrons protons atoms and uh, molecules they arise in uh, quantum mechanical description of nature that also you will study later though conceptually more abstract than mechanical or electromagnetic waves they have already found applications in uh, several devices basic to modern technology and the matter waves associated with uh, electrons are employed in electron microscopes okay they have found applications see the aesthetic influence of waves on art and literature is seen from very early times at the first scientific uh, analysis of wave motion has uh, back to the 17th century some of the famous scientists associated with the physics of wave motion are uh, you uh, know christian huygens and robert hooke and isaac newton and the understanding of physics of waves followed by the physics of oscillations of masses tied to springs and uh, physics of the simple pendulum waves in elastic media are intimately connected with harmonic oscillations stretched strings coiled springs air etc all these are the examples of elastic media isn't it so you just uh, consider a collection of uh, springs connected to one another as you can see in the figure you can see in this figure a collection of springs which are connected to each other the end a is pulled suddenly generating a disturbance which then propagates to the other end okay see here in this particular figure if the spring at one end is pulled suddenly and if it is released then the disturbance travels to the other end what has happened then why the disturbance travels to the other end because the first spring here this is the first spring right the first spring is disturbed from its equilibrium length since this second spring is connected to the first it is also stretched or we can say it is also compressed and again this disturbance moves to this one and it so on it continues and the disturbance moves from one end to the other end but each spring only executes small oscillations about its equilibrium position you can consider as a practical example of this you can consider a stationary train at a railway station okay in this uh, train example different bogies of the train are coupled to each other through a spring coupling when an engine is attached at one end it gives push to the bogy next to it and that push is transmitted from one end to the other isn't it 
without the entire train being bodily displaced similarly you can consider the propagation of sound waves in air as the wave passes through the air it causes a change in the density of that particular region we can uh, say that change as a uh, delta rho and that change induces a change in pressure we can represent it with the delta p pressure is nothing but what yes pressure is nothing but force per unit area and that is uh, this pressure is nothing but force per unit area so there is a restoring force proportional to the disturbance just like in a spring so in this particular case the quantity which is similar to the extension or compression of the spring is the change in density if the region is compressed the molecules in that region are packed together and they tend to move out to the adjoining region thereby increasing the density or creating the compression in the adjoining region so the air first region undergoes rarefaction if a region is comparatively rarefied the surrounding air will rush in making the rarefaction move to the adjoining region so the compression or rarefaction it continuously moves from one to the another making the propagation of a disturbance possible in air you can also see in uh, solids similar arguments can be made in a crystalline solid atoms or a group of atoms are arranged in a periodic lattice so in this each atom or a group of atom is in equilibrium due to the forces from the surrounding atoms displacing from one atom keeping the others fixed so that leads to restoring forces exactly as in spring okay